Hello and welcome to the Craft Man Show. My name is your host, what? the Craft Man. And today, fellow, have y'all ever wondered about can I make my own stamp? Rubber stamp. Yes, you can do it. <laughs> All right, so the goal with today's video is to make a, a stamp, all right? And here go two examples of stamps right there. Stamps usually work really well uh, for stamping ink, stamping a certain paints and things. If you got you a rubber surface right there. And also, all the things that you need to show up on the paper need to be flush with that sealing right there, all right? And they just stamped that I bought at the hobby store, you know. So I'm just going to start with a positive, all right? You could just 3D print your things that you would like to stamp. That little anchor and that little craft man. You know, saying like that. You also could just sculpt you something out of clay like that right there, see that? This made out of sculpty and it has been baked, you know, in the oven. But the issue with that right there is what? When we go to stamp it, it's going to be backwards. Look at this. It's going to say MCT. Which, by the way, medium chain triglyceride oils come from coconuts. You need to make a backwards one. All right. So what we're going to do is a two-step process. We're going to make a mold of those. And then with that mold of those, we're going to make us a rubber copy. I'm going to be using easy mode silicone putty. It has a firmnessity to it that's, uh, that I think is appropriate for stamps, you know. And it's just a one-to-one, -one, A to B, two-part mixture. So you grab your A part, you grab your B part. They're the same size. You mix them up. So what if you want to make you a stamp that goes on all your products, on your Etsy shop, your W.com, whatever your internet uh, website. You want to put a stamp on your items that tells people this was straight up handmade then you can do that right there all right so we got the stamps going to be straight up handmade then as always we want even look consistent even distribution color all up and up you have to work pretty quick with it. You know, it might say there's a 30 minute care time, but don't be surprised if you get help waiting around and it's just already uh, start to get real firm on you. Yeah, right. They don't teach you this right here in school, so I'm going to show you now. Uh, I like to always, when I got a little detail, I like to take it and do me a one pass right there. And just mush it down into that. Like that right there. Try to get them detail good as we can do. And then we're going to take the leftover and then just push it down real good. Hold up, Craft Man. I feel like every time I watch one of your videos, I get all excited thinking I'm about to do that. And then I realize, you know, that I don't have a silicone putty. Is they a DIY method? Come on now. Household addles, things like this. That I can't use. That right though. You might could try to take you some cornstarch and some regular old silicone that you get from your hardware store. And just go on ahead and do this right here. And this way it's going to be a little bit messy. Just roll it, roll it, roll it. And make sure that you get all of the sticky, sticky, sticky. Uh, you want that to be exposed to the cornstarch, all right? And so I'm going to take like that right there. All right. And see how that still sticky right there? And so I wanted to show you, uh, first of all, the way not to do it. What you want to do. Before you do this right here, is to put some oil on your fingertips. All right. In my previous video, I have you mineral oil, 
But uh, today, I don't know where my minerals are at. So, let's just try petroleum jelly. Uh, you can add uh, things like mineral sparrows uh, to this if you want to get uh, maybe a little thinner uh, putty. Also, that's going to extend your cure time because what's going to happen is uh, this putty right here is going to cure a lot faster than you might expect it to. That's about the consistency we want right there. See there? So we're going to take that little 3D print of the anchor and let's just see what kind of impression we can get with the I still got the cornstarch all over my hands. Uh, but let's see what this looks like. And let's see how that turns out. And I know I got uh, powder everywhere. That's because it was all on the bottom of this thing. I did not clean it out. But at least you can see that it's possible to capture them details just using silicone and cornstarch. Two different ways to do the same thing. So now that we did that, we can make us a rubber stamp. Come on, let's do it. So now if you want to use this right here to make a rubber puzzle to basically uh, let's say you want to make a rubber of this right there copy. You will want to put some release agent up in there. All right, there's all kinds of things you can use. This soap and alcohol, different things. But I like to just take and just rub some uh, petroleum jelly thin, thin, thin. And that way you can take your rubber part out of your rubber mold. Ain't got to worry about sticking together. And so I'm going to take some petroleum and just dump it out. No, I can't do that. I'm just going to get a little bit like that. And the trick to this is to just, uh, to just get it up in the, all right. Don't worry about being too careful at first. All right, because what you're going to do, get it down in the crevice and creases. And then, hold up. You do want to get it where your piece do not stick together. That's the whole purpose of this right here. Then we're going to come in. And we're going to take and to clean it out a little bit, you know. Some people like to uh, to use dish soap and alcohol, but if you do not have access to alcohol right now, uh, or rather if you would not like to use your rubbing alcohol on your craft, but would like to save it for sanitation purposes, maybe you would like to use petroleum. The benefit of the liquid release agent is, though, however, that it will just See power down up into there. So we got the release agent all rubbed around in there. And we about to see, can we get a, a rubber copy of that right there? Now, I will say this right here, this kind of interesting. If you wanted to go on ahead and you had your wooden handle ready, you could probably go in and just stick it on now. Like this big SC stamp right there. I went ahead and stuck me a block of wood to it. And it stuck to that putty real good because, you know, it's been on that on you that several times, you know. Look at that right there. So we took us a 3D printed object, made a mold of it, and made us a rubber stamp right there. See that? Craftman, if I'm going to be print, 3D print something anyway, 
why don't I just go ahead and print it out to be a mold craft, man? Then all you got to do is just stick your rubber or silicone, put it down into that. And you got your letters, all right? Silicone don't like things sticking to it, all right? Let me get some sandpaper and just kind of, you know, abrade that surface a little bit as I can. All right. Don't have to get crazy welfare. Now, I still say uh, that it's probably the best way is to just, when you're making it, try to get you a handle on it. Or either you can uh, make it thick enough that you really don't need a handle. You know, you can stamp with that right though. Now this next thing I'm about to tell y'all is worth the whole video right here. All right, so when I made the little SC stamp right there, the surface of this right there was very shiny. See that right there? Uh, had a, a silicone naturally put it with a shiny color. All right. My whole stamp was shiny like that. And I went and did my very first stamp with it. And I said, look at this, man. That's crazy. You know, only parts of the ink was showing up, and it just kind of was just not consistent. So what can you do if you have a stamp? The surface is not giving you good results. All you got to do is get you some sandpaper. Uh, this 180 grit, you might get even do a little bit finer than that right there, okay? Have it on a flat surface, and that you just go on ahead and do this right here with it. It's going to give you a nice a matte surface. And I probably would run that on some water or something so it uh, clean that off real good. But you can see it gives it that matte look. See that right there? That's going to give you the very consistent results on y'all ink and whatever that you use to stamp with. Hold up, crap, man. Can't I just use these thing right here as stamps? Why can't we got to make a rubber get complicated with it? Let's look at this and then you tell me what you think about it. All right. Now really what you probably want to do is take you a roller and just roll that out, you know. Probably don't want to use an ink pad if you got it, you know. But uh, I'm just going to uh, take right here uh, with my finger finger and just do that. That's the level the craft man is at right now, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to put that in my little paper towel hole right there. All right. Yeah, pretty neat right there. Uh, that's just acrylic, you know. Probably the wrongest thing that you can use for this, really, I don't know. But I just said, you know, I ain't got no ink stamping pad. Uh, except for my Versamark and some embossing powder right there. The way this thing works is you're going to just put your stamp down into the Versamark. And when you look at it, it ain't really an uh, ink eye right but you can see that it's got some little shine to it. If you are interested in making your own 3D printable uh, stamps, please look at the description because I have a link to the very same thing that I use to make my handmade stamp right there. And all it is, you load your image into it. It's going to generate some uh, little code, little thing you copy it, 
you go into the customizer, you paste it, and it's going to give you a 3D print that you can download and print it. That's crazy. Look in the description. This is Craftman, and I hope y'all found that useful. I don't normally ask things like this, but if you like this video, uh, what I gonna say? Try this mess out right here. It might take your handmade items for shop website to the next level. I love y'all and keep steady crafting. Thank you.